This is Code Combat, Introduction to Computer Science, the JavaScript version of the game. I'm playing the challenge Safe Place. Let's see what we're doing here. Challenge, level goals, defeat the ogres, use at least one concept. Use arguments, use a variable, use a wall loop. This is a combo challenge. You need to defeat the ogres using at least one of the programming skills you've learned so far. So far, variables, wall loops, and arguments. If you can, complete all of the goals. I think we can. Combo challenge, you must complete this level goal using at least one of the concepts you've, you've learned. If you can, complete all the goals. Alrighty. Move the, and remember comments aren't read by the computer, they're for the humans. Move to a, the treasure room and defeat all the ogres. Where am I? Okay. So it wants us to use an argument. An argument, remember is so i want to start moving up here let's try going up three okay and if this is empty in between here it will just go up one automatically but there was that easier way to do this i can get rid of that and instead of going up one if i put a number in here like three or maybe we need to go four it will work as well this four is what they're calling an argument because this move is a function we'll learn more about more about functions later but this four is an argument. So that's us using arguments. After we use that, let's go right. Mm, it looks like the same distance. So I'm going to try right four. Let's drop down three then. And over three, over two. So left two. I think that will get us in there. Use a variable. Ah, okay. Well, let's make sure we can get into this room so far. Good, good, good. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, but now we're getting attacked. So that looks fine except the whole attack thing. This is where we want to use a variable. A variable, remember, is if I find the nearest enemy, VAR means variable. So what my hero does here is my hero, hey, hero, look around. Whatever enemy is closest to you, you're going to give them this name, enemy. It's just like in math, a variable such as X. X could really be a number. That's a variable. Well, enemy here, it isn't a number, but it's whoever my hero sees that is closest. You don't have to leave this as enemy, right? I'm gonna name my enemy Bob, all right? So I've named that enemy. Look around, find the nearest enemy, and then I need to attack. So I'm gonna attack Bob. If it's a variable, you don't have to put in quotes. Attack again, Bob, okay? Now, instead of doing this three times, are there three enemies? It's hard for me to tell. Four, ooh. So I could just keep writing find nearest enemy and name them different stuff. But what I could also do is move all of this into a while true loop. Because then it will repeat, repeat, repeat. What it will, you'll look around, you'll find an enemy, you'll name them Bob, and then you'll attack that Bob. Once, twice, then it goes back around, your hero looks around, finds whoever closest, names that guy Bob, and attacks. Let's see what happens here. Up, 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 around, down, over, and ooh, maybe I should have started fighting earlier. Let's see if we could take care of it. And that was successful, and we met all four. Excellent. Mission accomplished. 